Why put solar on your golf cart? You never have to plug it in. Hey, I'm Brett with Solarola, and I'm Tony Conkey with Solarola. Tony and I have built these golf cart tops. So we've been building tops for a while here at Solarola, but they've been kind of custom one-off tops. And what we really want to do is provide something for golf cart enthusiasts to start with. Tony's working on the VW bus top and even a pontoon top right now. But we are finished with our golf cart top. So we have 300 watts of solar up there. We got a nice curve on it to shed the water. Um, it's under, how much is it weighing in? 32 pounds. 32 pounds including the panels. So we kept it really light. So we are ready to take orders essentially. So what we're going to do first is we're going to build some carts as you can see with our tops. This gives us a chance to really figure out how the mounting is going to work for different carts. So if you would like one of these tops for either an easy go like this one or a club car like that one over there, we pretty much got that dialed in. We found that a lot of our followers are DIY folks that are actually doing stuff. We love that about our followers. And so we know that uh, they're not afraid of a little drilling. So that being the case, they're ready to go. So I think we're gonna try to come in around 1750 for these tops. So pretty, pretty competitive with tops that are even um, without solar. The controller is, is only needs to be a PWM controller because we're right at the maximum power point of a 48 volt lithium battery which ends, ends up being about 51 volts, 52 volts right in there. So just a real simple uh, $25, $30 controller and your cart is now solar powered. And I'm telling you, these things are always ready to go. They're always full. We've been pretty, pretty stoked, but we wanted to offer first to our patrons our golf cart tops. Baby, say hi. Tony. Hey everyone. We're all going for a cruise in the carts. It is a beautiful Monday night. I built my first solar powered golf cart 17 years ago when my son was being born. And you know, a lot of people look at it and they think, wow, it's powered by the sun. But the part of it that I found was almost as important was that it's a little power station. So like this cart, for example, has a 1500 watt inverter on it. So it's a 15 amp outlet, run your chop saw, run your table saw, uh, keep your tool batteries charged, whatever your chainsaw battery charged got a little bed on the back so our first cart was a three-wheeler we didn't have a any kind of utility bed on it so I think what people are really going to find useful about these vehicles besides the obvious fact that your driving is solar powered is that um, you have the utility of, of actually a power station wherever you go throw your compressor in the back to to go and uh, uh, pump up a tire here and there it's just no more cords and no more loud stinky generators I mean it's silent in the woods, you see so many more animals because you're not making all this noise and stink. It's beautiful. It's really what a golf cart was meant to be, in my opinion. All of our golf carts have inverters. So an inverter takes your battery power and turns it to AC power, which is what an outlet would be. So if you look here, you have an outlet. So you can plug in your tool batteries, your hair dryer, your <laughs> heat gun, whatever you might need on your property, on a golf cart course, at a campground, anywhere. The sky's the limit for what these things can do. You're seldom going to use more in this cart than you're going to pull from the sun on a typical sunny day. And we find the same thing with the pontoon boat. We made a pontoon top that you can see on YouTube. It's currently out on the lake right now. And we tested it today. It was pulling about 15 amps continuous running an AC50 or an AC51 motor. We could go maybe 10, 15 miles an hour in that thing and we're pulling as much from the sun as we're using in the motor. 
And that's the same thing with the golf cart.